In this tutorial, I'll provide a quick overview of how key switching works in BBC Symphony Orchestra Discover. I've loaded up the violins patch here, which has four techniques available. We can switch between these by pressing particular notes on the keyboard, and you'll see these highlighted in green at the bottom end of the UI keyboard here. If your keyboard does not stretch to this amount, you can of course move the key switches up the range by selecting the keyboard icon here and dragging it across until you get to the range that you desire. We can also drag this back down if you want to keep the default settings at the bottom range. In practice, this is how it works. You can see that on the MIDI score here, we've got our melody that we've written along the top, and we've also got the key switches along the bottom here. Let's listen back to see how that sounds now. You may have noticed that it did not start off with the spiccato key switch that we originally started with. That's because the last key switch that was played was the longs here. And we need to put a spiccato key switch at the start of the phrase. We can just copy and paste one of the key switches that we have here and move it to the key switch that we desire, which was spiccato. Now when we play the passage, we'll always start with spiccato. If we want to swap the first two phrases round, it's also possible to do that by just simply changing what key switch we've used along the bottom here. Now we're going to start with pizzicato and move to spiccato. Thanks for watching Spitfire Clips. Let us know if it was too long, too short, too fast or too slow in the comments down below. Hit like if we answered your question and subscribe for more clips, tips, tricks and exclusive Spitfire content.